Hello, buddy. My name is Ozzy Gamers 83, and well, welcome back to to Bob Ross Microsoft Paint. Um, the reason I'm not using actual paint this time is because actual paint is expensive, and I used all the paint that I had last time I tried to do a physical painting. It's all about my deviant art, by the way, and it's actually hanging uh, in my wall. And every time I look at it, I am reminded of how much of a horrible failure I truly am. But why am I doing this again? Do I do I hate you? Do I hate Bob? Do I hate myself? D d have I just become an emotionless husk that is completely unable to even understand the very concept of hatred? Yeah, I think we're going to go with the last one. But today we're going to be painting the Bob Ross uh, doing Season 31, Episode 7. I mean, jeez! I... <laughs> 31, 31 seasons. I mean, jeez, Bob. Like, I mean, c congratulations to you for being able to paint, do paintings for that long. But, I mean, jeez. Oh, jeez. But um, um, a link to the to the original episode will be in the description below. So, um, if you want to go ahead and break open Microsoft Paint and watch the video and paint along with me, then. Uh, tweet tweet them at me at ultragamer63 on Twitter. So so let's let's just do this. Three, two, one, go. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad to see you today. Hi, Bob. I thought today we'd do the little painting that you see at the beginning of the show, the little animated opening. All right, you I'll got show that. You step by step, how that one was made. All right. Now, it will not be an exact duplicate of the painting that you see on the opening. All but right. It'll show you exactly how it was made. Okay. Let's start out and have him run all the colors across the screen that you need all to right. paint along with us. While they're doing that, as usual, let me show you what I've got up here. All right. Has anyone ever noticed how Bob Ross can, like, man, she go into work canvas. every day with a half button denim shirt on? With a very thin coat of liquid white. So yes, it's liquid wet white. And all ready to go. Yeah, wet and slick, all ready to go. So, Let's do this. Let's just take old two inch brush and all start right. off here and have a little fun. All right. I'll start with a little touch of the bright red. All right, bright red. Oh, a little yellow ochre. Oh, okay. Maybe a little cad yellow, all mixed together. All right. Something like so. Something, uh. Not a lot of paint, just a little. And let's go up Something here like this, this is very good. lightly. Just right. put in a quick little sky. Uh, a little sky, and that was sort of a sort of an orangey, yellowish color. Just a right. very nice color. Uh, put it on a little darker than you want it. It will mix with the liquid white that's right. already on the canvas and get lighter and lighter as you work there down. There you go, Bob. And that's really about all there was to make in the sky in that little painting. Just something like so. Alright. There we are. Got a... Couldn't be any simpler, could it? No, they probably could. All there is. Okay. Now then. All right. Let's try to get a little darker. Okay. The top. Let's have some fun. Today I'm All going right, to Bob. make a big pile of brown using sap green and alizarin crimson in about equal parts. All right. About equal parts. The two together uh, make a gorgeous, gorgeous brown. Uh. Gorgeous brown. Cut. One of our instructors, Audrey Golden, who lives in Florida. Calls it Christmas brown because you use red and green. Huh. That's a good analogy. There we are. Uh, okay. This looks about the right color to me. All right, Bob. Wipe off the old knife. All right, here we go. Basically, all we did here to make all the little background trees. I'm just using the same old dirty brush. It doesn't matter. All right. Tap in a little bit of color. This brown color. All right. Right dark. into the bristles. Filthy dark brown of crayon. All right. You just you just decide basically where you want to start. And off you go. Maybe there's a happy little tree that lives right there. And all, all we're right. looking for is just very, very basic shapes. We're not looking for a lot of detail. Not right. a lot basic of detail. Shapes. This is background trees. We had a little covered bridge in there. All right. So this is just background material for the little bridge. All right. There. Little openings need, isn't it? <laughs> that, I guess. That, comes out of there sounds like an old car that's yeah. a, that's another invention of my good friend here jerry morton who's one of the engineers why would you need engineers for, a piece these ideas for the opening and don't know where he gets them all right but i, I really enjoy working with him there we are all right he's like the rest of us he's by half these are some pretty nice trees wouldn't you say that's bob it takes to work here 
quick. We just put in a little background. Just a little background. Alright. Looks kind of green. Right. I guess that's what we're supposed to be going for. Now then. Right. You sort of have to decide at this point where the water is going to be. There's a little bit of water here where right. the bridge goes across. We don't see a great deal of it, but a little. Alright. So you bring these trees down to basically where you want water to be. Alright. Alright. Let's say we're getting pretty close right about there. Alright, here we go. Oh, I hope this is what you want, Bob. Used to when I was a traditional painter to paint this many trees. This quick would have taken me forever. Here, use old two-inch brush. Just knock it in. Hmm. So there's two a little more under right there. Here we go. Okay, let's take our liner brush. Old number two script liner. Yep, there we go. I want to take a little bit of that same Maybe. brown color that we made from the crimson Maybe, uh, and the sap green. Put a little more Mix the paint it. here with paint thinner until it's very thin. Mm. Very, very thin. Turn right. the bristles in there. It brings it to a nice sharp point. All right. Okay. And then we'll go up here and you just sort of look around and pick out places you think there would be little trunks and stems and limbs and all, right. all those things Peapod and all my little friends play on out here. There. Just put in a few little indications. All right. Wherever, wherever. It's up to you. All right. It's uh, totally and completely up to you. There, isn't exactly sure, but okay. To hold up all these leaves that it has here. There. All right. Okay. That's all there is to it. If you have trouble making the paint slide, add a little more paint thinner. All right. If you have enough paint thinner, it'll slide right over the top of that thicker paint. Very, very easy. Okay. Uh, I like this little wire right here. Working pretty good. We'll go right on back to it. I'm gonna take the same brush. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna try something here. Tapping quickly. it into the yellows mm. and the red, the bright red. So we're gonna try and drag and this down just a little. Go around, try them all. Huh. That way you're loading all kinds. That actually, of looks a bit better than I thought it would. Brush. All right. Okay. Now, so it looks like you kind of want a bit more let's orange. Just sort of test it. See if it's bright enough. If it's the color we're looking for, maybe I'll add a little more yellow. All right. There. We're gonna, like so. Oh, geez, no, no, that was the, uh, that, we can start the fill brush. We'll put a little touch of liquid white in there. Don't liquid thin it white. Down a little more. All right. What do you want, Bob? There we are. That sticks very easy. Thin paint will stick to a thick paint. Always remember that. All right. And there's one that maybe Jack Frost has touched this one. It's up to yeah. you. Yeah. You decide. But these are... These are just using little colors and just All a right. two-inch brush and just tapping them in. Just tapping it in. That's all there is to it. All right. That makes sense, Bob. All right, maybe. Why not? There. But isn't that a neat way of making just little background trees? It's good when you're not looking for a lot of detail. If you're looking for more detail, then you get into different ways of making them. All right. Up here. We don't want we don't want detail. It'll ruin the illusion of distance if you have ah. too much detail. That makes sense. Except green ever so often. Maybe there's a little one. Yep, right there. A little one right there that Jack Frost didn't hit yet. He'll get <laughs> him. That rascal sneaky boy. He he gets them all sooner or later. There. Mm. Okay. Now, maybe yep, this little devil right here, he needs something too. Right. Okay. A little bit of the red. I use the spray tool a lot in this. And you decide. You have to make these big decisions where all these things live. You decide. You can make many, many, many layers, though. Hmm. That easy. That easy. It actually looks somewhat okay. presentable. I've got several whole two-inch brushes going. Let's take... Right. We'll take a little right. black and add it to that brown. into the brush. All right, you, you want a stronger brown bob? Right in here. We'll put a few little trees, bushes. There, a little okay. closer, a little darker. All right, brown. Just to help push everything back and create that illusion of distance. There, we just let them fade off. We don't care where they go over there. That's the same brown color with midnight black in it. Right. There. Here. We'll take a little more 
more of that. All We're right. have water in this painting. This makes sense. The bridge covers up. We'll take that same color black and that brown we made and just pull it straight down. Straight down. Straight down. All right. It's important that it goes straight down. There. One. Okay. We don't care where it goes. They're throwing in a little bit of lighter it. brown. Don't worry about it. Because as you know, we don't make mistakes. Just happy we just little have accidents. happy accidents in our world. Yep. You got it, Bob. See there? A little bit over here. Wherever you think it should be. There, I'll darken that a little bit right in there. Alright. And just pull it straight down. I know you get tired of hearing me say that over and over. Just pull it straight down, you guys. If you make these lines go at an angle, your reflections just absolutely will not look right. Then we'll right. go across. So, so there's supposed to be a bridge right here. That's all we're going to do. Most of this we're going to cover up. But it'll give the impression of a little bit of water back here. Just a small amount. That's all we're looking for. Now we can take our knife, a little bit of white, a little Van Dyke brown, dark sienna mixed together. All right. A little more white in there. There. I want it marble. Wait, wait, hold on. Maybe put a little black in there too to gray it. Very good. I like that right there. Little roll of paint. Little roll of paint. You just sort of play yeah. around with the color till you find what you're looking right. for. Just gonna put the indication here and there. A few little things yeah. that live right out here. The water's edge. Just a little soil. Alright. Something about my cat. A little bit of soil, you say? And we can take let's take a little yellow ochre. A little touch of white. A little touch of white. Alright, you got it. Oh, that's just enough to tin it. There. The lighter color. And sometimes you can take a fan brush and put a little touch of light color, a little white on it, and lift up just to blend that together so that it all comes together. It looks all like right. a nice little area right along there. See? Right at the water's edge. Sneaky, huh? And it's very simple. Very simple. Here we are. And yeah. Now, take a knife, a little touch of liquid white. I'm gonna put a little, little bit of blue in it. Ooh, a little bit. Of, little so we're getting trying to get a late blue here. Just enough to tint it and cut across, just like so. Then we can go up in here, put the blue in there just to dull that a little bit. I don't want it bright white. Don't want it too right. bright. Hold on, Bob. Let me finish this the ground. painting a real bright waterline to me. Wouldn't look right, but if you want one, you put it in wherever you want it. In any any mm -hmm. shade, any value, any color you want. Painting is very individual. Everybody should paint what they see and what they feel. I feel okay, sadness. Ready? Now we have to decide where in our world here mm -hmm. that our little covered bridge lives. Put a few little sticks in there. Wait, that wasn't where the that bush it just looked like okay. it needed one. Bridge is right here. Let's decide mm -hmm. right in here. Probably one of the easiest ways. Well, let's see, there's not much paint on it, but I was trying to well, I... the paint so you could see. Okay. I'll use a little color. Let me put a little color on it. It's just sort of to lay out the basic idea. See? We were doing it's a house nice. now? Okay. Now try this. I know sometimes these little buildings are sort of hard to do. Does that make sense? All right, all right. Just lay out the basic shape of the buildings. All right. Let's take a little bit oh. brown we made. Oh, yeah. See? Okay. Now all here's right. our bridge. Just like building a cabin. Only it's got a, a huge door in front. I'm using a little Van Dyke brown here and there. All right. I want a darker brown. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's put something up here on the roof. All right. There. And over in here. Look at there. It's all there is to it. Now, let's make us up some highlight color. We'll use some brown, some white. And I'm getting some yellow ochre, maybe even a little red here and there. All right. There. A little dark sienna. 
Here, I should probably make it darker, huh? A little bit more of the brown. Yes, yes. See, it just gets feeling good, and you know you got it right. Mm. Now that I get our little roll of paint, always that little roll of paint. Okay. And let's begin picking out little individual things in here. See, we can just maybe do some little boards. Hey, Bob. Just little dooders like that. Bob, please stop. A little bit of our Van Dyke Brown. There. Okay, now at the top of this, some of the some of the old covered bridges had a little area that was open. What? So the air could get through, I guess. Huh. See there? So that's all mm -hmm. we gotta do to put that in there. As if I try now, to open a marker. Up here on the front. Yeah, I'll make it a little lighter. That's better. I like it better already. I can tell looking at it on the knife. We'll just do the same basic thing. All right. See, just let that color mix with what's on there already. Don't worry about the door. We'll go back and get it. We'll come back and pull that old door right, right out right. of there. My cabin looks terrible. Just enough to pull the paint a little bit. Move it. Just enough. I can't. Just that much. It's oh, all I'm looking for a little bit. Bob, of how, how are you getting all this? And we can go back in here, darken up these areas. And try making this a little there bit lighter. You, you can also wait till this paint dries and go back in there and put all kinds of details in it. You can use glazes and stuff when it dries. By glaze, I mean you just take uh, a little linseed oil and paint thinner, mix it with a, a color, transparent color, and wash right over it. I'm putting a little touch of white in there just to brighten right. it here and there so it shows up. Okay, this old bridge looks like me. It's about to fall down. Yeah. All right, now decide where the, the entrance is. Use a little Van Dyke. Right. See there? That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. That right. easy. All right. I understand now. Something about like so. Meet now, now for the top, let's take I'm a little white. Well, let me find a place to work here. I'm about to use up all my area. Take a little mm. white. A little bit of midnight black. Right. I want to make a gray color. Just black. Leave it marble, mm -hmm. a little roll of paint, and let's just go down here. Why, why would that and not just work? just here and there, let it graze. Just let it graze. All right. Something over here. Oh, I'm Bob, I'm still trying to tell like so. my door. Well, that old bridge looks like it's seen its better day, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. How does this look like a bridge, now though? Now we can just come in here, and I want to make it look like you can see back in there. So just by changing the angle of the paint, you can do that. See, now you can see it right back in that bridge. Um. And then we'll take a little liquid right, white. Um. Maybe over in here we can see the indication of a few little rails and stuff that go back into yes. the distance. No, I want to get the, the little road that goes through. This. It goes back in those woods there. We don't know where it goes. You could take a small knife, a little bit of black. Um. But the indication of a few little stones and stuff out here that this is setting on. Okay, yep, I messed up, I messed up. Anything that you don't want, you turn into a part of the reflection that's underneath. See? Smooth it right out. Hmm. That easy. Now it's just the reflection. All right. Let's have some fun. We'll grab right. this brush. It's quicker. Okay, hold on. Now then, we need some soil, some dirt for it to sit on. All right. And I think we had something about like this. Hold about on. Like this. We'll just put this in with brown, a little black in it. Right. It's that brown we made we made with the uh, alizarin crimson in the sap green and a little midnight black. That's all, all right, we're using. Right. There. In one of the early, early series, we did a covered bridge that you could see 
all the way through and see the trees and stuff on the other side. Mm. It's a little more difficult, but it's a lot more fun to do. Mm. It is a challenge. Okay. You say so, Bob. There we go. See, all we're doing here is just blocking in color. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, there's not much of that water going to show. Most of it's gone away. Most of it has gone away. Alright. There. Da, 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 da. Okay. Had a little bush right there. Oh, you want a bush right there, Bob? Alright, give me a this second. little bush lives right here by the water. That'd be a nice view. You can see all the cars come through. There. We filmed the show in Muncie, Indiana. And in this area, there's a lot of covered bridges left. Some of them are absolutely gorgeous. A little town called Matthews, they have a covered bridge festival every year that I've painted at several times. Oh, really? They do? That's interesting. Very nice town. Wonderful people. Sounds like it. All right. Now then, let's go back to our little brush. It had some of the colors on it. And we'll go into, we'll go into all the yellows and the reds and here and there. A little bit of green. Mix color on your brush, though. That way it's not too right. dead. So a lot of things happening right here on your brush. Okay, let's go up in here. Now then decide where all these little dooters live. Alright. And we'll just start laying them in here. This looks sure, kind of like the color you want. Lay of the lamb. All right. Yeah, maybe make it a little darker. We'll take a little bit of white, a little brown, okay. a little black to make it gray. And let's start. Alright. Let's start bringing that out. Mix up enough. Have to sort of mm. figure out where the road's at that comes out of here. There we are. See there? Is that easy? Mm. All roads just coming, coming, comes towards you. Let it get bigger and bigger as it comes towards mm. you. That's all there is to it. Barely touching. It's like it's like putting snow on the mountain. No pressure. No Absolutely pressure, no pressure. Save the pressure for later. Yeah, you got it, bud. Right. We go back to our little. We'll put a little touch of liquid white, just a little touch to thin the paint, make it a little brighter. A little green, I'm all the to yellows, to red here. Trying to blend this together. Ooh, nice color. Now then, we can go in here and just begin right. tapping in little grassy things. Oh yeah, the the barn. I forgot Same about that one. Or no, not a barn. Uh, Nothing to it. Think about the lay of the land, how you want the land to actually flow here. How you want it to flow. And how I want the land to flow. There we are. Alright. You say? Alright. And off you go. Just make layers and layers and layers. Layers! Alright. Isn't that neat? <laughs> you can do that. This little, little bush right here, he needs some gooders on him too. Right. See, that's all you need. Just to make him stand out as an yeah, individual. Make that door look a little. I want to work on the on the cabin. Or, Maybe there's or a I keep calling it a cabin. Area right in there. See, that little bush now has his own home. You don't have to be crazy to do this, but it helps. With a little practice, though, you'll begin to you'll begin to see things in your painting. You'll see fantastic things in your world. Look at them. Just look. Pay attention to nature. Nature is so fantastic. Mm, yes, it is. Start when you're out driving around. Look at trees. Look at bushes and stuff. Look at how they have form and shape, color. That's when it gets wonderful. I get letters from fantastic people every day all over the world. And they tell me that all of a sudden they're beginning to see nature. All mm. right. Looked at it for oh. many, many years, mm -hmm. but they didn't really see it till they started painting. And I guarantee you, if you paint, you will find <clears throat> you'll find a whole new treasure, maybe right in your yard. Hmm. I'll brighten that a little bit. Let's take a little brown and white. Just tap in some nice edges on the doorway here. Now you could get crazy and put windows in here. Some of these old covered bridges have windows in them. 
Yeah, they do. It's just, it's up to you. You can do all kinds of things in yours. It's really and truly up to you. I think we're about, we're about to get this one to where you can see exactly how the little opening was made. And as I mentioned over and over on the shows, if you have time to take a picture of what you're doing, send it to us. We'd love to see it here at the station. Drop us a line. You can drop it to the address on the end of the show. They'll send it to me. And I'd love to see what you're doing and, and what kind of success you're having. That really makes it makes it all worthwhile. Yep. Put a few little sticks and things in here. You got it, Bob. Basically, I think we about have a finished painting. Take a little paint thinner. A little red. Let's sign this rascal. We'll call it done. Hope you've enjoyed seeing how the little opening was made. And I hope you give it a try. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. And God bless my friend. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I don't think you guys can understand just, just how happy it makes me to watch Bob Ross because when I look at Bob Ross I see a man who enjoys all aspects of life the good and the bad but uh but here we go let's let's do a big reveal and here we go this this looks somewhat presentable I I don't know how I don't know how you did it Bob but you did it Bob you're magic you're a magic, Bob. Um, no, but really, this actually looks kind of good. I mean, I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I'm, it kind of looks like garbage, but at the same time, it doesn't. I don't, I don't really get that. But you know, other than the barn, or no, why do I keep calling it a barn? It's a bridge. Oh no, I messed up. Technology. No, but um. But really, it looks pretty good. Not gonna say it's a masterpiece or that it's even a three out of ten, but still, it it is pretty good from from what I can see. Um. So yeah, actually, no, I think I'm I think I'm gonna keep that there. It makes the inside look a little more weathered. Um. But yeah, that was um. That was it. That was um, that was Bob Ross, uh, m painting episode uh, episode three. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, again, if uh, if you guys painted along with us with Bob and I, um, I'd like to see uh, how how you fared. Um, you can tweet me at ultragamer sixty three on Twitter. Um, but um, but overall, I. I'd like to say this painting turned out pretty nice. Um, that's uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, everyone. Uh, thank you, everybody, so so much for watching, and uh, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.